Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Live. I apologize that today I'm not showing my face, but my camera has been fussy since I've moved my table and I just um, don't want to the arrangement of the camera to kind of move. So I just prefer focusing on the project. We're gonna create, I'm gonna create this art journaling page, maybe in a few different colors, just to make it a little bit more, a little bit different. Uh, we're just gonna get started. This is just it's called fly and it's um in art it's in my art journal. I'm just gonna turn the page. Uh, here it is. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to put some oh wait, hold on clear gesso on the background. It could be white gesso, it could be any type of gesso just want to put some gesso so um, so you know I have a base for the background and I apologize if my if my table moves too much my camera I, I still have not gotten this set up properly I'm gonna try to be very like careful not moving the camera too much um, So it's just good to put a base on everything that makes a big difference in terms of the when you apply the paint just looks better and then i want to show you a fun fancy new tool that i am trying today that i got at cha i guess i could have used the tool to apply this too but i want to just use it for the paint okay so there you go I just added a coat of the gesso and that's it. Um, okay. All right, so I um, just want to dry a little bit to make sure that I have it prepped. While I dry, I'm going to tell you about this. I don't know if you guys heard about this tool. It's called the Groove Tool by Artsy. Artsy? Yeah, I guess so. And it's basically a tool that you can use to smear paint or ink or anything on your... Um, on anything, basically. On paper or wood. Um, one minute. Let me take it out. Hi, Susan. Hi, Snehal. Okay. So, it comes with a few little gadgets. It even comes with uh, it comes with a sponge tool, a brush. Um, how do you call this? The one that is rough. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Um, you know, a oh, sandpaper. Sorry, and another lighter sandpaper. And uh, I'm basically going to use this. The nice thing about it is, I mean, you could you could use a regular sponge, but you don't get when you use this, you don't get your your hands dirty when you use it, which is really nice. So let me just finish here, and I'll show you how it works. Um, I was at CHA this past winter, I mean this winter, and I saw this tool being used, and I thought it was fun, and I asked them if they would let me showcase it on the show. So so. Here I am today showing you this tool, and I just think it's fun to just try out new things. So, um, oh yeah, they yes, that's right. I think they have it at at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can find it there. Okay, so here's dry. And I'm also going to be using these paints today. These oh, oops, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Dilution paints. Um, I think I like these this combination I used green I used the turquoise last time turquoise and green and yellow I think I want to go with pink pink green and yellow I don't know it's not usually what I go for I usually go for blues but I just really feel like putting pink something in my work so I'm gonna be doing pink I just recently got this one pink some somehow I, I heard something about pink not being available so um, I am going to be, oh, so I'm going to show you the groove tool. 
and it actually what I like about it is that besides not getting not being you, know, you don't get dirty with it you can it blends the paint really nicely just put a battery in it and there's different modes of it high low and things like that so um, I'm going to just put a little bit of <laughs> this looks like it's funny just it's not gonna look like that but I just want to add some color and then I'm gonna turn it on and I'm just gonna it just blends everything really nicely And I want to put another color, so hold on. I want to put some green in it. Ooh, I love this. I love the brightness of these colors. And I think I want to use my fingers to just put some paint in some places. Okay. I know, they think of so many things. Oh, hi, Joanne. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it tight, and it just does a really nice blending. It just blends the colors really nice. It makes a nice, um, you can go in circular motions, you can go straight. Okay, so there we go. So I'm getting a kind of an orange here. It's not what I was expecting. I want to really want it pink, but that's okay. I don't have to be orange because that's what I'm getting. Okay. Oh, you can see my finger pins. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. I'm going to add more green after, so it's okay. I'm getting this like psychedelic kind of ombre look let me turn this off I want to put some more green oh yeah the more paint I guess you put the more the better it goes on and I think I'm on high so you can go on two different levels you can go on high or on low and I just really like um, the effect that is just I like the smoothness of it I bet but you could probably I mean use a finger to to get it done like this but look how quick I did this I spread this pretty quickly on the page I want some pink now again and, and now I'm going to show you how I use this on stencils too, but I want to dry it first, okay? So, um, oh, that's a good point, Susan. <laughs> it does look like something you stay sell for facials, and I bet you it would give a good, like, facial massage. Not that I'm going to try it because I'll get paint all over me, but yeah, if you had, like, a clean, it probably is. They have, they have lots of videos on YouTube that show what kind of uses you can have with this. Um, I don't know. I want more color. Does that sound weird? Okay. Okay. So I think I'm... I should stop because it's silly to put so much more. I can continue. It's just fun to use, so I keep on wanting to. Oops, sorry, my, my camera is shaking. What happened here? Uh oh. Oh, you guys are still seeing everything. Somehow my camera, my computer went blank for a second, and I get worried when that happens. Just make sure to tell me that you guys are still seeing. It still shows that it's recording. Okay, so that is basically what I did with it. It's just for fun. It's just kind of making a background. I don't want um, I don't want to uh, do too much. I could play around forever, but I just want to um, show you the rest of the design. So I'm just going to dry this up. 
okay and I'm going to show you what I did with the stencils okay It, oh, it dries really quickly, so it's really nice. Uh, I'm going to be using this stencil. It's um, it's by the Crafters Workshop. It's Cassia's, I can't say her last name, but it's Cassia Kriminska. I think I'm saying it right. I'm not sure. It's her, um, it's her stencil. And you can use this over the stencils too, which is really nice. I'm going to use the yellow now. There we go. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to get like different colors on it, hold on. I'm going to get a little spatula. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on my mat because I don't want to, even that's too much. You have to go very little on it only because otherwise it will run behind, sorry, I'm putting it on the, on the rest of it. It will run under the stencil. Okay, and the same thing, I put it on low and I just start um, creating the pattern. Okay. Oh, I think I put it on high. No, let's go. Oh, I can stand the shaking of my... The shaking is terrible. I'm so sorry about that. I, I was supposed to fix that and I didn't fix it. So I just go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So it's very subtle, which is nice. And it's just, I just want to create a kind of a background. And I know I kind of press hard because I feel like it's going to, it's going to shake my whole table, which is doing it anyways. But I'm just going to, I'm repeating the pattern on the background a few times. Um, just because I want to create a repeat, repetitive pattern before I um, before I, I, I go on in the next step. The nice thing about this is that, if you know, if you ever try to put paint on stencil, it's really, really difficult because it always ran under. But this one makes nice impressions of the stencil without having to, uh, without making a mess, which I really like. There we go. Oops. I don't just. I feel like a. It's just kind of. It sounds like a. Some kind of a motor. Oh, it's so shaky. I really. I, I'm sorry. Hi, Julie. some here and I want some of this up here so it's basically I'm just creating the the, the, the um, I'm just creating a pattern that is that is repetitive everywhere then I'm going to do the same thing with another color let me just put the yellow back okay good and let it I'm gonna dry the yellow a little bit just because it's too it's getting too too yellowish everywhere. Okay, so this is for that and I need another pattern. Oh let me dry this first a minute. Yeah, Julie, you probably said, I think Vicky was mentioning that they sell it at Hobby Lobby for those of you who live in the U.S. It's great. And, um, yeah. So I apologize again for the shakiness. I think, um, I think I have to find out. You know what? I told my husband to fix my my camera setting but he forgot we forgot to do it we were so busy that we forgot to do it let's see what other pattern can i do 
I think I like the I've always liked the circles, but no, maybe I should do something else fun. Looking for a stencil, let's see. Okay. Everything is turning orange, I'm not sure why. Um, so now I'm going to use this one. This is called uh, Dots and Stripes. It's 962-326 by Prima. And I think I'm going to use the green a little bit. Let's hope the green does not turn orange too. Shouldn't, but who knows. Now I'm just wiping the sponge a little bit. Okay, because I only have like one sponge. I'm guessing you can probably get, um, you could probably get uh, extra, extra things for the tool, but I'm just going to do this with the same one. Okay. And then I'm gonna go here. So the repeating pattern helps um, helps you um, have like a kind of consistency on the page and balances the page. I almost want to work in the air. It might be better. I want to hold the table so it doesn't shake. Okay. What else? Let's put some here. The nice thing about it is that my hands are staying pretty clean. And I really like that. I mean, not that I don't like getting my hands dirty. I do. But it's just nice in terms of... Uh, just having that, you know, not having to constantly keep clean yourself and take that stickiness out of your, um, out of out of your body, out of your hands. Sorry, I'm trying to talk. I find that the less paint you have, the better you have an impression it makes. Okay, there we go. So that's the basically the the pattern that I have in the background, and. Hold on, I want to save the paint. Always save as much as you can of the paint. Okay, I love these bright colors. I don't know, lately I'm in a bright color kind of mood. So, um, so let this dry. And then I want to show you the next step. Okay, let me dry this up for you. I want to close the paints now because I think we're done with them. Okay, while I do this, hopefully this is drying properly. Okay, so I was at the dollar store like a while back. And I saw these stencils, I'll show you, not this one. This one I want to clean. Um, hold on, just cleaning the stencils. Um, so I was at the dollar store recently and I found this. I think they want to use it for wall decorating, but I thought it was great. Yeah, it's called wall decorations, but I just thought it was great to use as a stencil for my butterfly. So, um, I'm just going to dry this a little bit more to make sure that it's all dry. making sure everything is dry here and then 
I just basically grabbed a pencil and just traced it. I just traced the outside and you're not going to see it because you're going to use stuff to go out over it, you know. And I didn't even do the pattern inside. I literally just did the outside if I'm not mistaken. I'll check. I don't remember what I did. The reason why you want the outline is because now you're going to kind of outline the shape, in this case the butterfly. You're going to outline it in, in a different color, in a darker color. The reason why I'm doing, I was doing this is because I want the, the pattern of the stencil to stay inside the butterfly, but the background, I want it more subdued. I want it to kind of blend into, like I want the background to be blended and not so much having this effect only in the corners. So I have the butterfly um, drawn here. And then what I did is I used gelatos to kind of go around the, oops, to go around the paper. So I'm just bringing my gelatos over here. One sec, where can I put this? Oh yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm just gonna bring my gelatos box. I found this cool way of holding all my gelatos because I was good. I couldn't know what to do with them. So I want to start with, um, well, let's see. I wanted to see because I'm using different colors. I don't know how it's, they're going to react with each other. But Okay, so I want to start with the pink. And I just want to kind of blend it on top. You don't have to be exact. It's just, you just want to create um, a shadow um, around it. And I'm just, this time I am using my finger. I didn't actually try to use the thing. I could, it would probably work actually. I didn't even think that I could use the groove tool for that. I like the finger just because um, I can, it's very exact and but I could probably use the groove tool, I'm guessing. I don't know if it's strong enough. I'm worried my whole table will move. I'm going to use a, an orange too. Because I have so much orange here. And what I want to try to do is once I have a few colors on, I'm going to start um, pushing them out towards the outside to kind of blend them with the background. So then um they have a sorry they have a way to to kind of like you know kind of disappear i'm going to go with a little bit of a darker color and i want to kind of use this on um, i'm lifting it up a little bit because I just realized that I have to use a different way. I almost want to lift the whole thing up completely off the camera. So then, so once I've added a few colors, okay, um, what I want to do is I want to blend them in together. So I am. Um, I'm gonna use my finger and kind of blend them out, okay? And you see, oh, I guess I did not see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's a good way now I'm, sh I'm not shaking as much. Okay, so you see, I'm kind of creating a, a way, I'm blending it into the background, mixing it all up. So then, when you're, when you're, um, let me see if it's going to shake as much. Is it going to shake a lot? Yeah. And I had the same problem before and I totally forgot about it. Never mind. So, at least you're getting a closer look of everything. 
So the colors kind of blend together, but they also create an outline around around the, um, the butterfly. Don't forget in going in between here. And you can, we're gonna add more color. It's just that, um, oops. So hold on. So yeah, so this is basically, you see how it's all blended into the background? It makes it really nice. I wanna add some more pink and um, maybe even some, I'm trying to think. Make sure that I'm in the, in, in, in the picture. We're also gonna add like a bit of black after because you do need the darker colors. Um, everything looks orange in the photo. I hope you guys will see that it's pink and not orange, right? But I can tell. Okay. Good. So that's basically, oops, no, one second. Let me go and do this one. So that's basically what I did for the butterfly. So what is nice about it is that you see the pattern inside and you, the pattern is kind of on the outside, but the area right about around the butterfly is all blended into the background. So the butterfly kind of pops up a lot. Now let me go back and see what else I did to make sure that I, I'm doing all the steps to show you everything. Yeah, I added more a darker color here, so I think I'm gonna have to go with a little bit of a darker. Although I really like how it's turning out, I think it should go with a little bit of a darker color. So I wonder, we should go with what, red? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Maybe I should just add a little bit of black. Hope I'm not screwing it up. Okay. I mean, black is always nice, but it was just looking really nice. So I'm not sure if I'm doing it justice or not. And I'm not being exact. I hate being exact. I like, um, I like, uh, I like it when it's not. Okay. So again, I'm going to go, okay. Yeah. I think it's nice to like have a little bit of the black kind of showing. It makes a little bit of a difference, yeah. It kind of makes the butterfly pop up even more. And I know I'm working in the air, I'm being really silly. I hope you guys don't mind that it's different today. It's the first thing I'm gonna tell my husband to fix is my table. It's a terrible setup. I can, I can do shows like this. I can hold. This is at least I can hold in the air. Um, I can hold ev everything in the air all the time. Oh, look how much it's shaking! It you see? Oh God, it's so annoying. And I was supposed to fix this last time. I just forgot. I've been remodeling my room a little bit and just forgot to do stuff okay I'm going to now it looks really weird so I'm going to kind of highlight it with a black marker yeah, this is uh, artist artist um, Faber Castell's design memory craft pit artist pen bold and I'm just going to outline I'm going to outline the butterfly a little bit um, so ugh, this pen is running out. Let me get you the other one, the brush. This is the brush one, the same idea, but in brush, I think it has more ink.
Okay, so I guys, I don't know if you guys are talking there, but I'm just concentrating on this butterfly. Okay, I think I want to again blend the pink a little bit and And the more you add on the outside, the more the blank the background will blend. So it works out really nicely that way. Oh, how is it still moving if I'm in the air? Okay. So I just want to blend the pink a little bit more. So the way it is with art journaling, I realize it's that you're kind of playing around. You don't know exactly how things are going to turn out. Hi, Janusz. Um, you're kind of playing around and hoping that, you know, that it will turn the way you imagine it in your hand. And if it doesn't, well, you continue working until you're satisfied and you're happy with your work. And sometimes, you know, it has happened where you, you're not and sometimes you are so you never know you know you can just continue working especially with art journaling you can't go wrong it's just fun to play and try out oops and yeah uh, you see and just use it the blending I'm blending with my fingers I guess I could use some of the um, I mean, I'd like, I know, just felt like using gelatos. I can, you can use anything you want in this case. Um, so, there we go. Just using it a little bit more. Okay, so that's basically the background I just oh I'm actually really happy with it didn't think I was because I was th the whole table of business is driving me nuts okay so now I'm done with the gelatos and hold on let me just check what else I did because I forget okay so I added a little bit more stenciling yes that's what I did so I want to add more stenciling and stamping first the stamping so I want to or maybe not so, so, so I use this stencil this is a uh, Tim Holtz stencil and I also wanted to use this stencil you know this one this is um, graduate I don't know circles what is it called somebody tell me the name of this one and I'm going to use a little bit of black for this just to tie it all in okay now you have to be very careful you don't want to do crazy black areas so I'm going to use a little bit of the black and you want very very little bit on your on your groove tool this is the groove tool you guys are going to see it again for those of you who have missed it because if you have a lot it is definitely going to run under okay so now you'll see how nice it looks how cool is that you want very little the less you have the smoother the pattern is going to be So, uh, I didn't use pastels. No, I didn't use the pastels today. I was using gelatos for the second part. The first part I used the illusion paints, and then I used the gelatos to just blend in. And I keep on, you see, I keep on using the same. Um, the same little bit of paint and look how nice of a pattern it's turning out to be and I barely used any paint okay. 
what else it needs. It needs a little bit over here. And maybe a little bit in this corner over here. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, and I really like this actually. <laughs> you know how you know, don't know if you're gonna like something and then you do? I really like this, okay, good. Now, let me just clean this up. So it's turned out really nice. Uh, I'm gonna use the stencil that I just showed you. This is a Tim Holtz, it's called Typo. And I'm going to, um, hold on, let me close the paint. I wanna use light molding paste for it from Prima. Again, I've always said this is my fave and it still continues to be my friend. Um, so this is that and I'm going to use the spatula and just a little bit of extra 3D pattern here. I'm, I'm creating this. So yeah, not, 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 I mean, you've seen this before, nothing new that you're learning here. But by spreading this in different areas, you really get a really cool effect. And um, so what I like is here is that you're building the layers and you're really like putting layer after layer after layer and it becomes just everything kind of sticks out at the end, comes out at the end. Let's see. To be very careful I don't want to get it and I also want a little bit of put a little bit of it on the actual butterfly where do I want it hold on um, okay there we go Feels like I need something here sticking out. Oops. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. I want to dry it up. So if somebody had any question, uh, yeah, yeah, they look, yeah. My my gelato. I was using gelatos before. For those, I think Aga was asking. Uh, but I guess you could have used the oil, oil pastels too. I'm sure, you know, anything that blends and dilutes would have been good here. I really didn't want to dilute it in water. I wanted to kind of create um, a, a dry pattern to kind of blend the background, right? Because I didn't want to have the pattern around the butterfly. Oh, the ones with the clear packaging. Sorry, you know what? These are the this is the new packaging from Faber Castell, and some of them are uh, the pastels and the um, that's what you were asking. Yeah, the, the gelatos come now in this kind of clear packaging, and the the ones I have um, are the pastel colors and the metallic ones. Okay, just gonna close my stuff. I'm not even sure what, why the table is still shaking since I'm now barely touching it. Sorry. Just drying it up. I just wanted the butterfly to look a little bit different. I didn't want it to be exactly the same as the other one. Kind of defeats the purpose of journaling when you're doing two things that are the same. But I followed the exact same procedure then, um, just with maybe different stencils. Some of them are the same. But the idea is there, right? You're kind of highlighting the butterfly and blending the out the outline, I mean, in the shadow part, the, um, the negative part onto the background to kind of hide all the texture that is around it. That way, you only see the texture that is inside the butterfly, if that makes sense. Okay, I think, I think this might be dry already. 
this one dries really quickly uh, that's why I like the paste um, sorry I just want to clean my stencil I'm very persistent about that because otherwise I end up with gunk everywhere okay so now I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping I used I use this so I use the fly away no sorry no don't forget to fly uh, stamp set and I created some circles and there it is I really though like the butterflies though from this set also so I think I'm gonna use this one this one is rust and dust and I love the butterflies from this set because they have like kind of words on them so I'm gonna maybe use both. We'll see. Let's play around with this a little bit. So, okay. Let me get. Um, so I'm gonna use archival ink, and I'm gonna use this one butterfly. And yeah. Let's see. Where do I want it? Okay, the little ones are usually nicer too. Yeah, these are the fin stamps, fin a bear stamps. I want one here. Okay, and maybe one kind of halfway out. There we go. Now we're going to use the little one because it's much easier. Oh no, it's not this little one. It's this other one. Okay. The little one, I literally, it sticks to my finger and you can easily turn your finger around and it does a great job of just um, of stamping with it. It's much easier than the big one, <laughs> I find. I think I might want one more size. Do I have another size? Yeah, it's this one size. This size is just a little bit bigger. And I guess I'm putting a lot. I love butterflies. So I can't help myself. Okay, now I'm going to add the circles. I love these pattern circles with the words on them. So same thing. Let me see if I can hold. Oops. No, never mind. I really gotta get that fixed. Okay, so the circles are nice because they were gonna grab um, some of. I wanna like do a different pattern with white too. So it works out really nice. Um, let's see, where do I want? I don't wanna overdo it. Okay, and one, maybe one more over here okay so now I have them all here I'll put them away I'll rearrange them after because I think everything is a mess now and okay so I what I did is I actually grabbed a white marker hold on I need to get that Okay, so I want an acrylic marker, the white acrylic marker. And I just outlined. Sorry. It needs to come out. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm shaking the whole thing. Stop. Okay, never mind. This one is not working. I need to find a different one that works. Should have prepared this in advance. This is the Molotov one. Let's see if this one works. Why is nothing working today? When you know when you're trying to do something and nothing works? Well, now it works. What do you know? Okay, I did it on this. So, 
I just want to highlight the butterfly. It always, whenever you're adding black, it's just nice to also put the white. It makes a difference. Okay. Okay. I want to just do it in the air because I'm getting very annoyed with the movement. So I'm just highlighting the inside of my of my butterfly. And I, I, you can actually see all the effect of everything when, when I'm that this close. So I guess you're getting a very good close-up look of everything. saying yeah the molotov pins are really nice this one is I'm worried to press too hard on it or oh, not it's working really well but I'm just using the ink that fell out of it um, at least you have precision with these which is really nice it just takes a little bit longer It makes a difference in terms of um, the white makes a very big difference on your design. I just find it we're almost done. Next week Olga is gonna be on Artist Live and she's gonna be uh, making I'm sure an amazing project haven't seen it yet but I should be uploading it in today or tomorrow almost done so Okay, and since I have so much of this paint over here, I'm going to use a little paintbrush and I'm going to create some splatters. Let me see, I need something. Um, put a little bit of water with it too. And uh, it's not, not enough. So I'm not even touching the okay stop okay this is when it's creating small little patterns what I want to do is I'm gonna get the white just oh no I'm gonna get the dilution paints the white one to do the rest of the stuff I'm just gonna put a little bit on it here Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm using this, I'll clean up the, the bottom of it after. What I wanna do with this, I always save these like small little lids. So then you can create these patterns on the background, like this circle. So I'm gonna go over these circles that I already stamped. And highlight them. I could have highlighted them in white but I just I think it's easier to do this a bit faster I guess and this would be nice to do that too do I have any others yeah here here and here so 
Yeah, did I miss any? No, I think it's good. So that's the pattern. And then I think I want to use a little bit more. I want to put bigger, some bigger splatters. So let me see. I need something bigger to hit it with. Mm. Oh, it's going all over me. The last thing I want to do is just, um, I want to, uh, hold on, just do the title and let me just close this and then we're done. Okay. So what other word? So I think I put fly last time. I think I'm going to put sore for this one because I just don't want to write the whole t every time the same thing. Um, I think these ones will be good. So I'm just using some. Let me see, make sure, making sure that I have all the letters. S O A, and then I see the R. Do we have an R here? Yes, we do. Okay, good. So we're gonna put the S. I think I did some stamping too, although you can barely see the stamping on the other one, but I will see if I can add it to S O A and R. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I need to fix this. So sore. And then I think I use these. It's this one says dare to dare to spread your wings and don't forget to fly. So I'm gonna do that also. Just because might as well. But I'll put them somewhere else. So you can see them. I think here. Don't forget to fly. And there to spread your wings. Let's see where we can put that. I think it should be here. There we go. I think I even put I put this. Don't forget to fly here again. Because it needs that writing. Just want to also stamp with this little one. I think it needs a little bit more of stamping here. To create kind of a little bit of extra texture. Not that it, not that I need to create extra texture, but I don't know, somehow I was missing something. So okay with this little one and then sorry I just want to highlight it with the with the white and then I'm done it was a little bit different from the other one which I like I don't like everything to look the same especially in the same art journal so, anyways, so I hope you like. Thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. This is my art journal for today. It's my butterfly. I love butterflies, so I hope you enjoy this. And thank you, everybody. Uh, now I can turn around. You guys can see my face now because I don't have to put it back on. So let's see. Oh, oh, it came off. Hi, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming for Artist Live next week. Uh, Olga is going to be there. So I'm just going to turn the camera off and stop the recording. Bye. See you next week.